we're going to cover how to embed a DACA symbol interview on another web page. This is a very useful thing to do if you have another website where you want people to be able to complete DACA symbol interviews. Being able to keep users on the same web page can be a useful part of a seamless experience for someone navigating through your site. You'll see on my screen I've already got the playground open and I've simply created a copy of the interview that we used for our intro to objects in DACA symbol video. I've named the YAML file embeddemo.yaml and I've gone ahead and created a package with this interview so that it's publicly available. If you're embedding an interview, always make sure to create a package so that it's publicly available and never ever use a link from your playground interviews only use links from public packages. I've got the package running in this other tab. I've also got one of the more popular website building platforms open in my other tab here with a new page called Embed with Docker Symbol. In order to embed the interview, I'll need to add an HTML block to my page. To do that, I'm going to click the plus sign here and choose Custom HTML. This means I'm directly coding HTML on the web page, and it also means I can manipulate what's on the web page directly from the code. I'm going to go ahead and copy over an iframe code that I've saved previously, and you'll see here that it opens with this caret, and then iframe, and then the style specifier. This is where I can tell my website how to display the iframe that I'm inserting. I'm setting the width to 500 pixels and the height to 700 pixels. If you're adding in a style element, always make sure to close it in with quotation marks, otherwise you won't have a valid iframe. This SRC section here is where I need to insert my link. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the link from my package inside the quotation marks. Once that's done, I'll hit update, and I'll view the page. And you'll see that my interview is displaying in my web page on this different website. I can put in my first name, last name, and my nickname. my quest, and my date of birth, and then I can download my document directly from the iframe as well. So the embedded interview works just as well as it does on the main DocuSymbol site. But there are a couple of elements I'd like to change in this interview. One is this menu here. I don't want this to show up when it's embedded in the iframe. I also want it to be a bit wider, so I'm going to change the width. I can do that in this iframe specifier here with width. I can either set it to a specific number of pixels or a percentage of the available screen size. I'm going to make it 100%. I'll update and see if that helps. And reload the page. And now it's much wider. But I also want to get rid of the navigation bar. To do that, I'm going to go back to the playground. And I'm going to add in the hide nav bar feature up at the top. To do that, I'm going to use the features block. I'll just type in features, tab over, and set hide nav bar to true. I'll need to separate this out with three dashes and hit save. Now because I'm editing this in the playground, I'll also need to update the package. So I'll go over here to packages. Embed demo is already pulled up. 
and I don't need to change anything. So I'll go ahead and save, and then I'll install it. Always remember that you have to update your packages anytime you make a change to an interview in the playground. Those changes don't automatically go to the published packages. Those have to be saved and then reinstalled. I'll click return and just go back to the playground to see if the changes took. I'm going to go over to my web page and refresh that page and you'll see the nav bar has gone away. One thing that you might notice is if you want to restart this interview, you'd think you normally just need to reload the page. But if I do that, it's going to take me right back to the same place I was. And so when you're embedding an interview from DocAssemble, you need to make sure to add something to the end of the URL inside your iframe. After .yml, I'm going to add in an and sign, and then reset equals one. This means that any time the page is reloaded, it refreshes the interview and starts it over. This prevents someone from mistakenly starting an interview that's already going on, or a user getting confused by reloading the page and not being able to start over the interview as expected. So once I hit update, and go back to my page, I'll refresh it, and it starts the interview over. Anytime the page is refreshed, the interview will start over because the URL is telling DocAssemble, start over, reset equals one. If you're not sure how to create a DocAssemble package and make an interview public, I recommend checking out my How to Make a DocAssemble Package video, which is available on this channel.